Hi, this video shows you how to add a video playing experience to your Vision OS project using the system provided video player. Once you add it to your project, you get built in controls. So, over here, we can use the slider to move through the video. We can play and pause the video. We can use this button to move backward and use the other one to move forward and also adjust the volume on the top right. We can also adjust the playback speed. For example, changing it from 1.0 to 2.0. After adding the video player, I will also show you how to add your own Let's custom controls. Like this volume control you see in the bottom ornament. Let's go to Xcode and get started. In the project navigator, I will control click and add a new file by selecting new file from template and leave the option as SwiftUI view. Let's call it video player view and create. We now have a file to add our code for the video player. Let's also add the video we want to play. I will go to a location on my system and add an mp4 to the project bundle. We can leave it anywhere here. On this dialog window, you make sure copy files to destination is selected for action. Also, you need to select the targets you want to add the video to. So we will leave the options as they are and click finish. So this is what we are going to add to the project. Let's go to the file we just created. The first thing we need to do is to import a vkit that will allow us to play the video. Next, let's create a state variable here and specify the URL of the video. I will modify the auto completion we got and call the player a mouse player. We don't need the Xcode preview, so I will press Option, Command and Enter to hide it. So for our video player, we need to specify the URL. We already have the mp4 in the project bundle so let's write bundle.main.url and select the option that has for resource and with extension you can see the for resource parameter is a string so that should have the name of the video so let's put an empty string here then we specify the video extension that is also a string so i'll put an empty string and we have the video as mp4 First, let's copy the name of the video. This is the video we want to add. So I'll click that and copy the name and come back to the file. Then I'll paste the name here. You can see over here, it is an MP4 file. So let's add MP4 here as the extension. You can see over here, we have an error. Let's fix that. So here we have two options, whether we use nail coalescent or we force unwrap it with the bank operator. Let's use that option. In the body computed property, we can now add the video player view. Let's select the option that has player as a parameter. So you can see we have the Emos player we defined here. Let's put our video player in a Z stack. We will later add one of the video controls as a two bar item. So let's add a navigation stack here and place the Z stack inside it. Let's run it to see what we have done so far. You can see here we have the video player and we can click here to play it as shown previously. We also have all the playback controls I showed previously. To show the video playback controls, we need to click anywhere on the window. But you can also customize the experience by providing your own controls. Let's add one to play and pause the video by adding the control as an ornament. So I will go back to the project. Over here, we are going to add a custom button to play and pause the video. So I will create a state variable here and call it is playing. We want to add the button as a two bar item. So over here, I will add the two bar modifier. And inside that, I will add the two bar item and add a placement. For that, we want a bottom ornament. Next, I will add a button here and bring the label trailing closer. For the button, we want to use an SF symbol. Let's search for play. I will select this one. Let's add an image view here. Over here, we want to show two icons. So we have the play one. Whenever we tap this icon, we also want to show a pause icon. So I will add this as well. We can show the two icons using a ternary conditional operation. We have already defined this state here. So let's bring that first and bring a question mark. You can see here we have already set the condition to false. For the true value, we will use the pause icon. 
and when the condition is false, we use the play icon. Let's also add some styles. First, let's change the font. We can, for example, choose large title and make it bold. Then we will add pattern. Whenever we tap this button, we want to toggle this state variable. So let's bring it here and toggle that. Over here, pause is spelled wrongly. So let's change that. Once we tap the button, we also want to switch between the pause and play states. So let's add that here as well. So when it's playing is true, we show amosplayer.pause and when it is false, we show amosplayer.play so that the actions here correspond to the symbols. Let's place this line on the top instead so that we have the correct order. If we now run the app again, we are supposed to see the play pause button in the bottom ornament. You can see here we now have it right in the bottom ornament. So instead of clicking anywhere on the window to bring the default playback controls, we can use the custom play pause control we added. You can use the same way to implement other playback controls, but we will limit ours to only one. This is how you can add a video playing experience to your Vision OS project using the built-in video player. Thanks for watching this video.